afternoon everybody it's Alison from the nail boutique in Freckleton so this week is glitter week uh, and I'm going to do something a little bit different because I've pretended just to use um, designs using gel polish so this week I'm going to use acrylic so I've started off by just buffing the surface of this tip and um, I'm actually going to for this design I'm just going to cut the tip off and you'll see why it's just a little bit easier doing this design I'm going to do. So I'm going to start off using uh, this Glitter Bells. This is uh, Mercury from Glitter Bells. And I'm also going to use Foxy, which is from the Magpie collection. And it's that gorgeous, luminous orange colour. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm using a Young Nails Artistic Sculpture brush. And that's in a size eight. So I'm just going to go in and got a little bit of glitter on the brush. Get rid of that. I'm going to start by picking a little bit of glitter up. I'm going to want to put a line straight down the center of my nail. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm going to go in with some Young, uh, young Nails Clear Powder and I am just going to cap that. let that dry for a little while it doesn't have to be completely dry to do the next bit it just needs to be so it's not going to start sort of dribbling down the side so if you move them out of the way let's get the orange ready okay so i'm just going to go in again with a little bit on the end of my brush i'm going to tap it slightly and let the acrylic sort of work down the nail. So once you've done that, again, just leave it to harden up a little bit. You doesn't have to be completely hard. But we're just going to go over it and cap it again with some clear. Just clean the brush a bit. Again, you don't want too much clear on your brush. It's just literally to cap it. I normally, from capping something like this, start midway down and brush it like so, and then get another bead in your cuticle area and work it round and then feather it down. Okay, so 
so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm going to refine it with a file and we can then go on and do the top coat. Okay, so the next nail I'm going to do, uh, I'm using Magpie again, this is Hot Stuff, which is the, again, the Illuminous pink, which is amazing. Uh, but I'm also going to use um, um, some glitter that is from a company, this is called Aphrodite, it's from a company called Glitter Heaven Australia, so it, it actually is from Australia, but I will put the link down because she does ship to the UK, um, and you, you'll see the glitters are absolutely amazing. Um, and she does literally every colour glitter you can think of. So I'm going to use some of that. Now that one is not um, an acrylic glitter. It's not mixed with acrylic. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to be able to use that without having to mix a load in with some acrylic powder. So the first thing I'm going to do is start again with my buff tip. And I'm going to go in with my pink. So this time what I'm going to do is slightly different design but still that block look. So I start off at the cuticle area and I want to pull it down to probably a third of the way down. Now at this point, what you can do is, um, I normally just use, I can get a, a good sharp enough line using my the edge of my acrylic brush, but if you want to get a sharper line, you can always go in, um, you can get these French tip cutters, um, or you could go in with sort of like a cuticle knife, something like that and you can really, really crisp up that line. Like so. Don't worry if you get a little bit of on there, I'm gonna cover that over. Okay, so once you've done that, we're gonna go in and put some more on the tip. Okay, so unlike the last nail, the um, glitter that I used down the centre um, was already pre-mixed with an acrylic. So we know that obviously there's so many different companies that we can use that do loose glitter. Um, so I'm just going to show you a dead easy way, rather than having to mix a glitter in with some acrylic powder, just a dead easy way of putting it onto the tip. So you get your glitter that you're using and again some clear acrylic all you need to do is get a little tip of clear on the end of your brush and dip it into your glitter and if you sort of wipe down the side sort of like that and then you can then arrange your glitter and there's enough acrylic in there to be able to do it without having to mix a whole part of acrylic with some glitter. Okay, and then you're going to wait for that again to harden up a little bit and then we're going to cap it with clear again. You obviously could use an awful lot of other things in there. Um, there's some Myla. This is some orange. Um, got some blue. There's all different colours. Um, you can use this, which is the gorgeous Opal Flakes. Which are going to really glittery. 
but I just wanted to show you using an unmixed glitter powder. So once that's hardened up, you're just going to go back in and you are going to cap it with clear. So I normally start on that bit because I want to get that flush. Again, we're going to wait for it to dry and I am going to refine it with a file and then I'm going to top coat it. Okay, so those are the two nails. So what I've done is I've just got an I have uh, filed both nails and smoothed them out and, and then I have just gone in using the Nail Kami uh, non-white top coat and topped them off. So there you go, those two designs. So I've done a few more. This again um, is using one of the um, Glitter Heaven Australia, which is amazing. So it's about focus there, which is a really cool one. I've done a couple of the block ones, a couple of fades. Okay, so this one, obviously, I've just gone in using um, the way I've done this one with just a little bit of clear on the end of my brush and dipped it in some pink, orange, um, the lemony colour and the green and then faded it together. Again, I capped it with the clear and gone in with the pink either side. This one is using one of the Glitter Bells colours. Again, this is the Glitter Heaven Australia. This is actually using a Glitterati one. This is the Glitterati Iridescent Bear, which again is a really sparkle one. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed my video today uh, and I shall see you next week um, for ombres. Thanks very much, bye.